In this question, we're shown a microscopic view of a sample of matter in the image provided. We need to figure out what the sample is made up of and how to classify it. So looking in our image here, I can see we've got three different looking things. So there's the one that looks like this here. There's one that looks like this. And there's one that looks like this. I think those are the three different things we have here. So let's look at this one down here first. So this is one single atom of one color, one size. So that's one element there. So I'm going to call that an element. Let's look at this one up here next. So here we've got a larger green atom attached to two smaller light green atoms. So clearly we've got two types of element there. We've got the dark green larger element and the light green smaller element and they're attached into one molecule. So the name for this is a compound. A compound is where we have multiple different elements that are joined together. So we've got a compound here. Now the last one down here We've got two very small blue atoms attached together. So they're clearly both the same element, the same type of atom. They're both the same color and the same size. But there are two of them joined together. So you might think this is a compound, but actually compounds have to have multiple different elements in them for them to be called a compound. Otherwise, it's still just called an element, even though it has two of the same atom inside it. So in this example here, we've got two elements and one compound. So let's answer that first question. What is this sample made of? We have uh, one compound and two elements. Awesome, okay, next question. Is this sample classed as a pure substance, a homogeneous mixture, or a heterogeneous mixture? So pure substance, that means we've only got one thing. In this example, we've got three different things. So we know it can't be a pure substance because we've got three different things. If we just had that compound at the top and none of the others throughout the whole material, then we'd know it was a pure substance. But it's not because it has lots of different items within it. The other two options are a homogeneous mixture or a heterogeneous mixture. So mixture sounds like the right word since we've got multiple different things in there. Homogeneous versus heterogeneous is to do with the way the mixture is organized. So homogeneous, that means it's the same throughout. Heterogeneous on the other hand, means that it's different throughout. So if we look at our selection of our mixture that we can see in the image, are the different compounds and elements spread out the same way across the whole picture? Or are there more of them in certain areas and less in others? So looking here, if we look at our compound, that compound actually only exists in that top part. Then in the bottom part, we have our two elements mixed together homogeneously or mixed kind of evenly. But since we have the compound that's separated from the rest of it, it's not all just mixed in together randomly. That means this one is going to be a heterogeneous mixture. 